How's it going? How are you? I sincerely hope you're all doing exceptionally well because you have clicked at precisely the right time and in the absolutely perfect moment to thoroughly enjoy this brand new video. Thank you so much for being here with us today. So my dear friends, today we are going to make an attempt to unlock this iPhone, which is already updated to the very latest software version, iOS 18.2. That particular version has just been released. And we are going to make an attempt to unlock it for any carrier across the globe. But first, let us check and confirm that the device is indeed locked. Let us verify that it is locked. Let us wait for a brief moment. OK. The signal bar has loaded. And there is the confirmation of the installed software. Let us continue. And here comes the well-known lock message. Here we see the well-known lock message. And we are going to attempt to remove it. Perfect. Here I have the cards. I have the Ultra M case. I have a hate card. And I also have the RC. In my personal opinion, this is the best brand of card you can use to unlock an iPhone. All right. So we are going to carry out the test with an R SIM. Let us take it out of its packaging and place it in the tray. As you can clearly see, it is installed. Let us install the SIM card. Perfect. It is done. Now we are going to fold the card and place it in the iPhone. Let us place it in the iPhone and wait for the menu to appear. And there it is. So for this particular type of iPhone, I am going to use the first option and select the original carrier of the iPhone, which in this specific case is T-Mobile. And I will hit accept. Let us wait for the device, or rather the card, to carry out its function. Let us turn off the Wi-Fi. All right. It is done. Now let us try to make a call. Let us make a call. Welcome. All right. It works perfectly for calls. Now let us see if it browses the internet. There it is. Perfect. Everything is working correctly and smoothly. With this, our SIM clock, here's the menu, right? Perfect. Ready. In my opinion, this is the best unlocking card you can use to unlock an iPhone. The reason I believe this is because of its reliability and efficiency in unlocking various models of iPhones without any hassle. Now we're going to test the MKSD Ultra, which I think is the second best unlocking card. This card is known for its advanced technology and user-friendly interface, making it a popular choice among users. Let's put it in the tray. There it is. The tray is designed to securely hold the card in place, ensuring a smooth insertion process. Now, let's put the SIM card in. There we go. The SIM card fits perfectly into the tray, aligning with the designated slots. 
now we're going to put it in the iPhone. The iPhone's SIM slot is located on the side, and it's important to gently push the tray in until it clicks into place. Let's wait for the MKSD Ultra menu to show up. I the menu is a crucial part of the unlocking process as it provides a various options to customize the unlocking settings. All right, here's the menu. I'm going to choose option five, G Auto. This option is preferred because it automatically configures the necessary settings for a seamless unlocking experience. Now I'll select the carrier, which in this case is T-Mobile, and I'll hit Accept. Choosing the correct carrier is essential for the card to function properly, and T-Mobile is a widely used network. Perfect. We'll wait for uh, the card to do its job. The card works by communicating with the iPhone system to bypass the lock, and this process usually takes a few moments. And perfect, it's unlocked now. The phone displays a message indicating that it is now unlocked and ready to use. Let's do another call test. This test is important to ensure that the phone can make and receive calls without any issues. All right, we'll also check if it browses the internet. Internet connectivity is crucial for most users. And this test confirms that the phone can access online services correct and perfect. It does everything very well. The phone performs all functions smoothly, indicating a successful unlock. So I use the R Simxta Ultra here. This card has proven to be effective in unlocking the phone without any complications. Perfect. Now we're going to test another brand of card. We're going to try a Hay card. The Hay card is another popular choice known for its compatibility with a wide range of carriers. Let's take this card. Out of the packaging, I'll place it in its tray. The packaging is designed to protect the card from damage, and the tray ensures a secure fit. There it is. I've put the card in its tray, ready. The card sits snugly in the tray, ready for insertion into the iPhone. Now we're going to put it in the iPhone, the process is similar to the previous card, requiring careful alignment and insertion. Let's put it in the iPhone. Here's the menu. The menu for the Hay card offers different options tailored to various unlocking needs. In this case, I'm going to choose the first option set inside Auto Unlock. This option is ideal for users who prefer an automatic unlocking process without manual configuration. Let's go back again, set in Simolog. And I'll choose the carrier, which in this case is Metro PCS, and I hit accept. Metro PCS is chosen for its widespread coverage and reliable service. We'll wait for the card to do its job. The card works by establishing a connection with the phone system to unlock it. Let's wait a moment. The process is usually quick, but it's important to be patient. Okay, there's no data, but we'll fix that. Sometimes, Additional settings are required to enable data services. For that, we're going to go into settings. We're going to go into cellular network. The settings menu allows us to configure the necessary options to enable data connectivity. Let's get into network selection. And here in network selection, we need to turn off automatic mode. We have to turn off automatic mode. If the carriers don't show up, Let's turn on the Wi-Fi. All right. Now we need to select the carrier for the SIM card we're installing. In my case, it's Claro. Perfect. I've selected it. Now let's exit here and turn off the Wi-Fi. It still doesn't have data. So let's go back to settings. Cellular network. SIM applications and let's go to the let's go to the last option the last one here we are going to select reload TNC which is a crucial step to see if it recovers the full signal strength of our device reload TNC is important 
because it refreshes the network settings, potentially resolving connectivity issues. Let's see. We're going to put it in airplane mode, which temporarily disables all wireless connections, including cellular, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. After a few moments, we will turn airplane mode off to reestablish those connections, allowing the device to reconnect to the network. Let's check if the data is working now by attempting to load a web page or send a message. This step is essential to ensure that our internet connectivity is restored. All right, it's back. The signal is recovered, indicating that the issue was resolved. Let's try making a call to ensure that the voice service is functioning properly. Making a call is a good test to confirm that both the network and the device are working as expected. Welcome to customer service. Okay, that's perfect. As it confirms that our network is fully operational. Let's test if it can browse the internet by opening a browser and navigating to a website. Correct. Good. Everything went well which means our internet connectivity is stable. So here, I used a hat card, but I also tried several brands like hat card, MKS from Ultra, and R Sync Cloud, each offering unique features and benefits. For instance, the hat card is known for its reliability, while MKS from Ultra provides excellent speed and our Sync Cloud offers great cloud storage options. I'll leave links in the description below the video for tricks, tips, and recommendations so you can learn how to set up each of these cards correctly and optimize your device's performance. Well, guys, thank you for watching. See you. Take care. Until next time, take care. Bye.